bago nga harapin na pagsubok ang tinaguriang Pinoy Aquaman na si Attorney Ingemar Macarine. Ang kanyang latest challenge ang langoyin ang 21 mile na English Channel na nagahati sa United Kingdom at France. Gagawin niya ito sa susunod na buwan at makasama natin ngayon si Attorney Macarine para ikwento sa atin ang kanyang paghahanda sa challenge na ito. Attorney, welcome back to The Score. Good to see you again. Kamusta na? <laughs> Thank you, TJ. You, so... look, you look like in great shape already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, ko, uh, Attorney, kwenta mo muna sa amin kung uh, paano mo naisip yung sunod-sunod na lalanguyin. I remember ulit tayong nag-usap. Ano yung unang nilangoy mo dito sa Pilipinas na medyo malayo-layo? Yun yung sa Surigao Channel, Surigao 12 Channel. kilometers, okay. last 2014. And then, uh, naging export ka na. You exported <laughs> yourself and you started swimming, I think, in New York or other places. Ano na ba yung mga, just pakapewa natin, yung mga mahihirap na nalangoyan mo na ng open swims? Yeah, yung last April, TJ, mm. uh, nilangoy natin yung uh, from Dumaguete City okay. to Siquijor. So, parang ito yung kinoconsider ko na the most difficult swim. Really? Okay. Para sa akin kasi... Uh-huh. Uh, meron na tayong 32 open water swims. Okay. Yung Sikihor swim, uh, it took me 11 hours, 11 hours to swim 24 kilometers. Okay. So, malakas yung current. Is that a good pace or hindi? Dahil may hamon ba talaga? Malakas talaga yung current. Malakas At tapos malalaki pa yung alon. Kaya malaki yung alon. Nahirapan okay. talaga. Oo. So, <laughs> so, explain natin sa viewers, uh, Tori, kung gano'ng kahirap ang isang open water swim kumpara sa lagad, sa parang pangkaraniwang uh, triathlon na nilalangoy lang nila yung, yung malapit sa beach. So, arguably, mas madali kasi hindi ganun kaalon yung malapit sa dagat uh, sa beach. Tama ba yan? Actually, mas mahirap yung sa open water kasi mm-hmm. uh, marami tayong factors na kinukonsider like mm-hmm. yung current mm-hmm. tsaka yung mga waves. Okay. At tsaka pag sinasabi nating marathon swim like yung ginagawa yeah. natin na uh, crossing from one island to another, mm-hmm. Uh, the minimum distance is 10 kilometers. Okay. So imagine you have to swim 10 kilometers. Wow. So comparing that to uh, the, ma- the triathlons, yep. normally ang distance nun is 1.9 kilometers. Mahaba na yun. Oh. Okay. So, medyo short lang yun. At saka 3.8 kilometers mm. for the full Ironman. For man. the full Ironman. Yeah. Wow. Ito 10. Yeah, itong <laughs> minimum yung 10 kilometers. Minimum yung 10. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, paano mo naisip ito? I mean, uh, maraming kakaibang atleta na mga kakaibang hamon ang sinasabak nila. I remember the first time we did it was party for uh, the awareness of our ocean uh, preservation, yeah. di ba? For the environment. But as an athlete, ba't ito naisip mong hamon sa katawan mo as a swimmer? Yeah, ang itong uh, swimming kasi ito yung mm. one of the best ano, tal- exercise, form, yeah. form of exercise. Of course, yeah. So, dito sa Philippines, itong open water swimming, hindi pa talaga siya ganun ka-popular. Okay. Unlike in other countries na uh, marami ng mga open water swimmers. Mm. Kaya nga wala pa tayong uh, uh, open water swimmer na kanaka-swim sa English Channel. Good. Which so, is your next challenge. Yeah, that's Akala mo eh, lahat na ng hamon na nagawa mo ay mahihirap na. <laughs> so you're telling me, and we've talked about this prior to coming over, this is the hardest uh, considered open water swim sa buong mundo. Hindi yes. nga sabi mo nga, ito yung Mount Everest yes, TJ, na open water true. swimming. Bakit? Bakit ganun to kahirap? So, yung English Channel, uh, ito yung nagsaseparate sa UK mm-hmm. at saka France. Okay. So, ang distance niya, pinaka-nearest distance is uh, 33 kilometers. Mm-hmm. That's from Dover to Calais. Okay. So, ang expected water temperature nito, uh, yung swim season from July to, uh, to September, mm-hmm. uh, 15 degrees Celsius. 15 so, imagine degrees. a swimmer will swim non-stop from 12 wow. to 15 hours with that kind of uh, water temperature. Ang lamig nun. So, Pag nailagay mo ko sa room, itong <laughs> naka-aircon na 18 degrees lang, nangangatog yeah, na yeah. ako eh. Kailangan yeah, mo lang kumot eh. Yeah. Wow. So, first of all, okay, how do you deal with the temperature? Pag ganong kalamig, anong ginagawa mo para maibsan yung ganong klaseng lamig? So, ang kailangan natin ng, like sa akin, mm-hmm. mag-swim ako sa August 14, okay. yun yung window natin. Mm-hmm. Uh, kailangan kong mag-acclimatize at least two weeks. Two weeks, okay. So, I am leaving on Friday mm-hmm. so that I can start my acclimatization training. Okay, alright. So, acclimatization lang ito, hindi pa to yung, you're not gonna swim the same distance uh, ah, no, 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 no. for those <laughs> so, trainings. So, for... You know, so, how do you prepare? So, aside yung acclimatization, paano nyo pinaghahandaan yung ganyang klaseng distansya? Yung yeah. ganyang klaseng haba? Kasi I can imagine yung mga Ironman, mga triathlons, they simulate those distances somehow when they train, diba? Pag nagahanda sila. Kayo, pag ganun kahaba, paano nyo pinagahandaan yung ganyong klaseng resistensya, kumbaga? Yes, um, um, 
ang pag-training sa English Channel kailangan ng ano yun at least a year mm -hmm. na training. A year. Yeah. Okay. So uh -huh. ang average distance na sinis swim natin weekly uh -huh. sa pool swim, uh, that's around 25 to 28 kilometers. Okay. So din uh, hinahati-hati natin yun mm -hmm. sa apat na araw. Okay. So yun ang tri-train natin sa sa pool. So, and that's divided in four days. Ito, yeah. sasaba ka ng 33 kilometers in one yeah, in, swim. Yeah, in one, in one swim. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you're telling me, minsan, pag malakas ang alon, nadadala ka. Yeah, that's true. You get true. veered off. So does it mean yung distance actually lumalayo? Yeah. Yung sa English Channel, mm -hmm. um, yung, yung straight distance is 33 kilometers. But okay. because of the strong current, ang normally masiswim ng isang swimmer, aabot na siya ng 45 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Ganon kalakas yung current sa area. 45 kilometers. Yeah. Wow. So, maalo na, 45 kilometers, malamig pa. Yes. <laughs> Paano pa gano'n? I mean, how do you do it? When it's that long, how do you how do you take a break? Ano yung rules nito for breaking okay, okay, efforts? Okay. Ano yung mga ka-mechanics kung maga? Kaya paano may kinakain ka naman siguro, no? Na, yeah. Ano to Saging? Anong ginagawa mo? Yeah. Yung yung sa swim, mm -mm. Uh, bawal tayo mag-touch the boat. You cannot touch the boat? Yeah, you okay. cannot touch the boat. And bawal din tayong hawakan ng another person. Taong sa boat, oh. okay. Then, uh, lahat ng mga feeds ko, like, uh, I have to stop every 30 minutes. 30 minutes, uh, okay. Para inom ako ng energy yeah. drink. Pero okay. yung stop na yun, normally mag... Uh, ano lang yun, 10 to 15 seconds. Then after that, mm. after drinking the your energy drink, mm -hmm. langoy na ulit. Langoy ulit, okay. Kasi ang, the longer I stop, mm -hmm. the longer yung swim na nalalanguyin. Right. Kasi okay. strong yung current. Eh. Yeah, nadadala. So dapat talaga, uh, short lang talaga yung yeah, stop. stop. So, yun ang, <laughs> ano, yun ang challenge natin. Kasi susundin talaga natin yung mm -hmm. rules para ma-certify siya as... Uh, uh, official swim mm -hmm. kasi wala pa tayong Filipino na naka-swim dun sa area. Mm -hmm. So kailangan sundin talaga natin yung rules. Wow. Now regarding my my nutrition, mm -hmm. yun lang yung inuinom natin yung Inumin energy talaga. drink lang. You don't eat anything na kahit yung mga energy bar na mabilis Wala time. wala tayong <laughs> kasi ibagchuchu tayo kakain ng time yun eh. It will eat time. Yeah, oh. Oh, tapos yung goodness. breakfast natin TJ. Oh. Normally, ano oh, lang. What time of the day nyo balak gawin to? What's the best yeah. time of the day to do something like this? Uh, normally, ang, ang mag-start ang swim, 12 midnight. Midnight? Yeah. Mandinim! <laughs> eh, okay. Yun yung kasi ang parang, uh, yun yung parang kalmado yung tubig. Really? Eh. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, uh, kaya sinasanay na natin uh, na nag-training ng madilim. Okay. Para at least masanay tayo. Siyempre, right. mad madilim talaga eh, oh, yung dagat oh. eh. Wow, so you can't see that far ahead of you, or you need to get a boat na yeah, yes, ah, yes, yes. Pero ganun talaga kailangan madilim. Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, nabanggit mo for the first time, uh, fully supported ka ng gobyerno. Kamasa yung tulong yeah. <laughs> sa this time na now that they see. I mean, it's something different kasi na normally yung sports commission ng natin pinupuan din ibang mga sports natin pero uh, that's sa kakaibang challenge na ito kamusta yung support naman din ng PSC sa'yo? Yes, ang, ang swim night is sponsored by the Philippine Sports, right. sports Commission okay. and the Comelec so, okay. Kasi nga um, ikaw isang Comelec lawyer Yeah, yeah in Bohol, lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. in Bohol. Right. So ang, ang nag-fund nag sa atin uh, yung, ano, yung PSC right. okay. para sa Siyempre, ang pag-swim sa English Channel, magasto sa ito. Course, the yeah. boat alone is 3,000 pounds. Wow, okay. So, uh, kaya malaking pasalamat ko sa sa Philippine government uh, na inesponsoran tayo yeah, sa swim natin. Kasi magastos talaga siya, right, TJ. Right. And uh, we're glad na yung ating kapamilyang reporter, si Rose, no? We'll yes. We'll be meeting you there. She will help document this feat for you. And, uh, attorney, we wish you all the best. Yeah. Ayaw kita masyadong puyatin. May maagang ensayo mo bukas. <laughs> at kailangan magandang magpapaghahanda. Pero salamat sa inspiration na binibigyan mo sa ibang mga atleta. Hindi lang sa swimming, kundi sa lahat na may hirap na sport na sinasabak nila at ninyo. So, thank you so much and keep it up and good luck. Sa inyo nga, English Channel siya. Salamat, Atorne. Thank you, AJ. Hi, guys. Keep watching The Score for the latest sports updates. And don't forget to subscribe to the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel.